is this airplane called? Uh, we call it a Slicky. Slicky. I mean, it is a one sleek looking little airplane. Now, what's the idea behind it? Well, uh, it's a two two place uh, sport airplane. Uh, good for cross country flights. Uh, if you like to go up and bore holes in the sky. Um, we. <laughs> How did you get, to, all of a sudden you just get this idea, hey, I'm going to design this airplane? Like, where did all this stuff originate from? Well, the original d design was came from a Q2, if you're familiar with a Quickie uh, Q2, and uh, this has got a lot of modifications on it. Uh, in particular, if you look, you see it's got a straight canard, as well as being outfitted with a set of a conventional landing gear. And, and when did this all start to come together? Well, it's been something that's been evolving over a period of uh, several years. Were you involved in, in the design and the construction of the airplane? Yes, I was. Uh, what type of construction is used in it? This is all uh, composite materials, fiberglass uh, and styrofoam. The wings are made out of a, like a solid block of foam with uh, glass layup and then the fuselage comes out of a mold. Now, what are you looking at doing with the airplane? Are you looking at uh, selling kits for it, for plans for it? What is the future plans for the airplane? Uh, we're trying to promote it. Uh, future plans are to uh, offer kits, as well as possibly even uh, complete aircraft. Now, I noticed on the front of it, it says AC-DC. That's an indication that you may be going electric with this? Yeah, we're, we're experimenting, trying to put an electric motor on it, um, going with uh, probably an AC motor. Now, have you had any uh, engines on it to, to date? Has there been any flying time on it? There's been uh, Ribmaster, uh, Hearth, Rotex 912, and they all worked well, but decided to experiment with, uh, given the price of aviation fuel with electric. Uh, so, with this airplane up and flying then, like, what type of performance figures are we getting out of it? Well, with a gas engine, you can get uh, 200 miles an hour out of it. It's very aerodynamically slippery. So it means you're going to have to do something to it to slow it down to get it into the white sport category. Right. We do have another version. This isn't it, but another version that's being designed to get into the uh, light sport category uh, by putting longer wings on and some things to slow it down, make it fly a little slower and land a little slower. Now, is it a standard uh, type of control on the aircraft, a standard stick and rider type of control? Yes. And a tailwheel configuration, so a steerable tailwheel on? Yes. Yeah, the airplane uh, have flaps? Uh, it doesn't have flaps. Uh, we do employ something called uh, uh, flapperons, which oh, it's not really flapperons. Uh, it has an aileron reflexor, which uh, allows you to put move the ailerons up and still be able to control them, you know, like regular ailerons too, but move them both up. That's something to get the tail down during landing configuration, because being your, your elevator is located on the front. Now, how long before you think you're going to have something for the public to actually have a look at buying? Well, we're looking at uh, hopefully having, having it flying before the air show next year and uh, be ready by that time to actually produce uh, kits and uh, give uh, people uh, rides. Now initially, when you bring it out to the market, are you bringing it out in the experimental energy book category? Yes, it would be. So you're looking at the 51% per, uh, percent, uh, rule to uh, build it then? Yes. Okay. Now how long do you think the average person is going to take to have an airplane from the way you deliver it to them to actually have it up and flying? Well, a person could probably get it done fairly quickly. Uh, the fuselage would come pretty well complete. Uh, you just have to build your wings and glue them in. Uh, you're looking at uh, you know, probably somewhere between 500 and 1,000 hours. Okay, so we're at the Arlington Air Show uh, 2012. If somebody wanted to get a little more information, uh, how do they get in contact with you? Well, you could call 360-230-1776 uh, and uh, we can talk to you there on the phone or our, we're going to be getting a website up here pretty soon and the address is www.slicky, that's S-L-I-C-K-Y dot org, O-R-G. Thank you very much for your time. Okay.